Hey, One Tree Hill fans, you're getting a two for one because I didn't realize that the last week's episode was done. <laughs> I just lost all kinds of track of time. So let's get into episode 22 for season two or known as part one of the season finale for season two. The tide that left and never came back. And by the way, the podcast with Paul Johansson, a.k.a. Dan Scott on One Tree Hill, was fabulous. I thought him and Joy had, I think they have such a good back and forth. They're so fun together. Um, so let's just get into this episode because I know there's a lot going on here. And I think I kind of blocked this episode out too. <laughs> Man, Nathan healed pretty quick to be on the basketball court already. Last episode, he was on crutches. Everybody talking about who they're meant to be and all that sorts of good intro. And then we see Lucas all sad about Haley not coming back for the end of the school year. She's really not coming back. That was kind of silly of Lucas to <laughs> think that Nathan couldn't write an essay about loss. Okay, I totally forgot about Dan trying to get Andy deported. <laughs> Ew, Dan kissed Karen. I felt that disgust from Karen. I'm so glad she broke that window. Ah, Peyton and Jake. Jakey's getting into jail. Yay for more scenes with Whitey. I like that. Come in, Nathan. How'd you know it was me? I could smell the confusion. <laughs> always on point oh my god dan telling nathan oh your mother's pill addiction started when you moved out dude what the fuck oh my god brooke is so fixated with you know lucas being friends with peyton which i understand it's justifiable but at the same time it's like girl you know like try to give him a little bit of credit, you know, like, and Peyton, you know, but then again, it's also like, mm, maybe she felt like the inevitable coming down the pipeline eventually. Um, it's a real catch 22, you know, but uh, I do like that his loss on his essay will be losing himself because he lost himself that year. So I, I, I kind of, it was, it was like great, but then I'm like, ugh guys always making it about themselves, right? But no, really, Lucas definitely lost himself. <laughs> oh my God, Lucas looks so pissed off when he walks in to like Haley being tickled by Chris. It's like, <laughs> oh my God, so many conflicting emotions. It's funny, Lucas and Brooke show up and Haley's like, oh, I'm gonna blow off all my interviews and stuff because I'm feeling sick, bye. Okay, so when Andy's like asking Karen to go to New Zealand with him, I'm like, and then he was like, oh, you don't want to go because of Keith. I felt that was forced. Like, I, I don't even think that was like a thought in Karen's mind. Like, that's the feeling I got. I could be wrong, but I thought that was a little weird. Aw, oh, Lucas feels like he's been replaced as Haley's bestie with Chris. Oh, come on. That could never happen, Lucas. Come on now. Aw, Erica and Mouth are so cute together. Oh, my God. I totally forgot Nikki showed up at the jail with the baby because I forgot that Whitey hid her. And Florida with his like, oh my God! And Nikki found her, and she's and he's like in jail, can't do jack. And she's like, I got my daughter. You're never gonna see her again. Bye, bitch. I like when Brooke was like, I can't breathe. There's no room in here with Chris's ego. <laughs> I like that Lucas like kind of yelled at Chris and was like, How do you, you know? Of course Nathan's not doing good and. But, you know, it's, it's so funny because Chris was always this really frustrating character. But when he stopped being a douche, he did have some, he did make a few good points. I mean, as annoying as he is and that is, it's nonetheless, he did have some good points here and there. 
I totally forgot that Andy was like, oh, the security system. By the way, I own the company that installed that. And for Dan to like throw something through his new plate glass window is hilarious because that's not like him to let, you know, sh let it show that people affected him. But Andy's all like, you know, leave the mess. I plan to de redecorate when I buy this place anyway. That's probably the most threatening I've seen Andy because every time else, it, every other time it didn't feel, it kind of felt not really threatening, but this time it felt better. Ah, uh, see, Paul Johansson said that he didn't believe it when Haley says, oh, I'm not wearing the ring because I just don't feel like I deserve to. I believe that. I mean, what else is she supposed to say? We know she loves him, but I could see her not feeling, you know, comfortable wearing it, feeling bad for her decision, even though not fully bad, just feeling guilty. Okay, out of character, but I kind of find it weird that Dan, w knowing, okay, Hargrove, if, you know, he's the one, his company installed the security system, why would you open the safe and not disable the camera? Or maybe Andy put another camera in there? I, I don't know. I just felt that to be out of, just kind of weird. Okay, another thing I clearly blocked out is her signing the papers and giving them to Lucas to give to Nathan. This sucks. Like, did Nathan actually sign the papers? I don't think he did. I'm gonna believe that he didn't, cause I really, I've seen, I, I literally am like, I don't know, I've blocked these things out, cause my naily heart can't take it. Ugh, Peyton just had the worst luck on this show. She was always an emotional hell, and Jake had to leave to go find Jenny. You knew he would. It's just. So sad. Oh, silly Brooke telling Lucas, it's okay that you're into Peyton. I found the things in your closet. You mean the old things? <laughs> like people don't save mementos from even bad things. Come on, it happens. And he's all like looking confused and she's still not seeing it. <laughs> I really blocked out a lot of this stuff because I know what happens and a lot of what's going on in this episode just does not jive with what's happening. I do think it's funny that Andy's like, okay, I'm leaving. I love you. I love you too, but it's not enough. And he goes and gets in a limo. <laughs> it is true. In striving for the things we think we want, we do tend to ignore the very things in front of us that we already have. Another episode wrapped. All the tears, the feels. Leading up to next week the part two, I guess we're calling it, of the season finale of, of season two, episode 23. So I will see you guys next week. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. Until next time.